Hello, Zadogo friends, and welcome to another heart puzzle. Uh, I still believe it's a Chinese origin, but I don't really know. And um, I don't think it's important. And what's important is that we have fun solving it. This comes from a stack of photocopies that uh, all say that these puzzles are hard. Whether you find it or I find it hard or not is not really important. But most of these puzzles strike me as being well made and having a very pleasing path throughout the solution. And that's why I like them. If nothing else, we can use these puzzles to keep sharp and to keep reminding ourselves how to go about analyzing a grid and to use our sense of logic to solve it. So let me look at these two eights. They block over here. Therefore, this is an eight. We got two nines coming down, therefore this is a nine. There's a three coming over here. One of these is a three. Oh, one of these is a three. A nine must go down here somewhere now. We do have some twos, a two blocks up here and a two blocks over here. So, and we have a two down here. So one of these two squares must be a two. And this two blocks here, this two blocks here. So one of these squares must be a two. Ah, yes. So we got these ghost twos blocking here. We got this two blocking here. We got this two blocking here. So this is in fact a two. The nine is coming up here and coming over here. So one of these is a nine, except the nine blocks this square. So this is a nine. One of these now must be a nine. What else do we have? Ah, finding this nine was not a bad thing because now we got the four coming over here and therefore one of these must be a four. And therefore, because we've got a four coming down here, one of these must be a four. One, five, four, seven for these squares. There's a one, four and a seven blocking here. So this must be a five making one of these a five. So now a one, four, and a seven for these squares here. We already know that one of these must be a four, but conceivably a four could also go up here, at least until we prove otherwise. We got an eight coming up here, so and an eight here. So one of these must be an eight. Aha, when I looked at the twos before, I didn't notice the two blocking up here. So this is a two, of course. And these twos here block here. This two blocks over here. So we found a two for the corner sill like so. And as I predicted, yes, one of these now must be a two. And of course we do have the two ones blocking down here and therefore this is a one. And that actually gives us a firm pair here of threes and fives, and a firm pair here of four and seven. Can we do anything with that? The four and the seven here leaves a one, six, and a two for these squares here. And the three and the fives leave a 
six, seven, and a two as well. Ah, but we got a two, seven coming down. So this is a six. Uh, the six here and here and here puts a six in this square, doesn't it? So this is now a two and a four, seven, I said. So this is a one and a two. Can we do something with that? Two coming down here, two coming over here. Haha, <laughs> this is a two, and this is therefore a one. That's great. So four and seven, four and seven, four and seven. These two now must be a two, and this can't be a two, by the way, because of the two here. So we might as well just plug it in. And four, seven here now, this is therefore a three. Four, seven again, one, five, nine, makes this a seven. And the seven blocks up, the seven blocks up, this seven blocks over, this square is a seven. So far, so good. Did you change anything? about this row here, except for adding the seven. Yes, it did. The eight blocks up here, the eight blocks up here. This is therefore an eight. And the two remaining cells must be a three and a six. We have a six blocking here. So the three must go here and the six must go here. This six blocks down, this six blocks up, this six blocks over, therefore this is a six. Now we got a six blocking down, one blocking up, one blocking over, one blocking over. This square is left over, it's a six. Anything else? Any change here to the one, seven, and four? Well, seven can't go here. So it must be going one of these two squares. Well, it could go here. So I was just about to uh, do something that I shouldn't do, namely make a mistake. Five, seven, eight for these squares. Also, nothing I can do about that yet. Let me look at these squares here. A three, four, five, seven. There's a three and a four here, so this is a five, seven. Hang on. Look at the uh, seven, five here. This is not a five, seven. So it has to be a one or a nine. So it and for the row, we still need a five, seven, one, and an eight. So this is a one or an eight. Can we use that for anything? Of course we can, dummy. The eight blocks here, the eight blocks here, the eight blocks here, <laughs> this is an eight. It can be nothing else. Now back to this square. It could be a one, yes, but not a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So it's a, it's a one. It's so easy. It's so easy. One goes here, and therefore one goes up here. And now this is a five, seven, and this is a five, seven, except we do have a five blocking here. So the seven must go here and the five here. And that gives us finally the four for this square and the seven for this square. So what do we do with these three squares? We need a four, seven and a three. So the three can't go here and the th three can't go here. So this is a three. And by the way, that makes this a five and this a five, but that's besides the point. We are looking for the four and the seven for these squares here and for this square. And these have to be a, 
eight and a seven. Hmm. Let me mull that over while I think about something else. A five, eight, and a nine for these squares. So there's a nine blocking, so this is a nine. And one of these now must be a nine. So what did I say? Five and an eight still missing here. And five and an eight would make this a four and a three. And therefore, this must be an eight. So happens it was the last digit missing from the column anyway. Big, big analysis to find a simple eight. Anyway, this is now an eight. And that makes this an eight. And this an eight. So we are back <laughs> full circle to these two squares. And this is a five. Making this a five. And a five will have to go here. These are now ones and nines. We've got a one bearing down here. So the nine goes here and the one here. And this is a one. We remember that one of these had to be a two, right? So now the two must go here. These two guys need to be a six and a four. We got a six here blocking. So this is a four and this is a six. And therefore this must be a nine. These two must be a four, which can't go here. And a three. So a four will also have to fill the gap in this row and the gap here, making this a seven. And therefore, this must be a seven. This has got to be a three, making this a three and this a four. This square must be a seven. Some of you might find it a little too easy, but uh, believe me, there are enough people out there who are just starting out with uh, trying to solve Sudoku's without using notation. And uh, I think this is a very good training grid for that purpose. I hope that you all enjoyed it and that you will come back for more soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.